It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And I am behind the lens today uh, in Pacific Beach. And many of you will remember this installation from four years ago. And it has run amok, absolutely run amok. Now my lovely client has added some things over the years but she is ready to dial it in. So the idea is to um, make some judicious edits uh, to reduce the amount of maintenance. So we are going to be having a lot of plants that are gonna be rehomed on bigger, larger properties. Example, or exhibit A, these aloe arborescents on the gabion wall here. Uh, we're gonna get these out of here and just do barrel cactus, call it a day. The apuntias, where they're very, very pretty, um, just aren't serving the client anymore. They're dangerous uh, and she's over it. So those will be rehomed as well. Up here, Remember, oh, it's one of my favorite installations. This is the one where we did the, the half inch basalt and Greg installed this beautiful uh, basalt fountain. She has talansias and staghorns. And this was a really, really cool tapestry that, you know, over four years time has just sort of lost its luster. So I'll be tightening up this tapestry area and we'll be removing, um, this aloe plicatillus, this is the aloe plicatillus hybrid. And just so you can see the mom and the dad, this is an aloe plicatillus here. And this is an aloe banesii right up here. And this is their offspring. Uh, also see a little bit of aloe mite in this too right there. So that will be um, disposed of and I'm going to move this beautiful Plicatilis into this spot right here. The Dickia stays right where it is. It's stunning. The uh, Resinifera, I think we can can dial this in a little bit, limit up. We're going to pull this Bane's eye out of this pot because it's just way too stressed. Oh, thank ice, you. Ice oh, the Frank. Thank you. Frank gave me some ice water. Um, the aloe Cynthia Giddy are fabulous. The barrel cactus that are up here in the garden proper are doing great. The mangave jaguars, this guy, are everywhere in this garden and we'll probably be making some other choices on that. The shade garden, which is full of bromeliads, uh, cardboard palm, um, is looking great. Uh, won't make any changes there. And look at this downslope. As things have grown, she has put cuttings down here. And it's just, that's Lily. She's one of the reasons why we're getting rid of some of the dangerous things. Um, but can you even with this? This is a Mission to Mars Mangave here. And then there's some jaguars down there and just too much maintenance just way 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 too much maintenance for her more shade lovers more staghorn so fantastic go baby so this is all passion vine too and there's fruit bearing mixed in with the non-fruit bearing and i guess christine's got 50 passion fruits every other day during the summer but I mean, just look at all this. We're gonna bring in some more two foot minus boulders to um, break this up a little bit visually as well. Uh, two foot minus is the best we can do um, because we'll have to walk them in by hand. Then there's you know some irrigation tweaking for Greg uh, to do in some places. We have this beautiful yucca rostrata which is just about to throw off a flower 
um, being crowded out by this aloe hercules. These are actual cuttings from the mother plant that I'll show you in a minute. And, you know, there's some really, really cool potted plants here. Aloe cameronii, perii, another mission to Mars, pilosoceris, uh, grusonii. There's even citrus. This is another, this, um, this Bracteatus petalanthus is really crowding this lemon tree. So that Bracteatus is going to find another home. They added another water feature since I was here and it's so pretty and the sound is so great. They're not real happy with this Pacopodium lemerii. This is one plant that is not thriving in this garden. So it's going to be rehomed. Um, look at this Cristata. Isn't that amazing? Crest. That came with her from her property. Um, it's, it's just generations old. Yeah, everything is doing what it does. Look at this Aluaudia Procera. Isn't that crazy? And all these Jaguar Mangaves, just too much. So we're gonna pull all of these out and then push this Mission to Mars back. We're gonna find a new home for this um, Aloe Ferox because it's gonna get too big for this spot. And I don't even know about this Blue Glow. It's massive. So, you know, a lot of the extraneous things like the little calanchoes, the orgialis, the, the, um, the little milliis, um, sedums, you know, little hybrid aloes, those are gonna find a different home. We can't see the ground anymore. So we wanna open this garden up. This gigantic Hercules, is also coming out and in its place, I'm going to move that Bacarnia, that recurvata back there, the ponytail palm. That's gonna come in and be placed here. These agave are also going to be removed. All the arborescence is gonna go. That's a really, really pretty hybrid aloe that will come more front and center um, and then this stand of aloe cameronii will be cut up for parts and dispersed throughout the garden space. We'll need to bring in um, a little bit of rock. They have some left over, so that's good. But if more is needed, Southwest is right down the street, so we can go get it. And yeah, I'm, I do want to bring in some mammillaria cactus for her and some of those really cool Kelly Griffin aloes, uh, those little ones that he's been, um, that he's been creating recently. I've got one at my garden that is literally pink. It's so, so beautiful. So she's got an area down here under this bench that I thought would be a fun place to pop in some of those aloes and we'll get rid of this hi lily <laughs> this is a lakeland terrier and she is one years old one year old yes she is she's a cutie um but yeah get this rid of this stuff and do something lower profile in here probably just those little tiny uh kelly griffin aloes look at this pharaoh cactus the glauca can you even stand that? I have a tiny little one in a pot in my courtyard that's half this size. So beautiful. But you know, look at it from this perspective. You see what I mean? That Mangabe Jaguar and that Petalanthus Bracteus are just, it's seriously competing with this lemon tree. Um, down here also just a lot happening for Quera, for Quera McDougliae and then just Plants, 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 right? Just a little overplanted, a lot going on here. So more boulders will be the solution to satisfying our client's need to see things finished, um, you know, without the maintenance, because that's kind of the point here too, safety and maintenance. So I'll bring you down so you can see from this angle. I mean, really. 
Here's another ferox that's gonna have to be moved, crowding the path. This agave peri is a really good choice. A fairly well-behaved, medium-sized agave. A lot of moon glows, not my favorite, because they pup, unlike the blue glow that typically doesn't. Yeah, and we'll check all of these aloes too for mite, and any that have it obviously will be discarded. You know, she is like 13 of everything, right? But one thing that she does not have that surprised me, she doesn't have any Aeonium Sunburst. Look at this crested Graptocetum. Wow. That should come out and go someplace special, huh? So yeah, I'm gonna pull a lot of this extraneous stuff out. A lot of the jade, cotyledons, these these kind of nothing burger agaves, the quadricolors, ugh. Um, yeah, and then down here I'll show you what those arborescents look like from this perspective. Look at that. It's crazy. You cannot tell me either that we won't find a bunch of alomite in here. It is literally a cautionary tale. When I planted these, I think I put in 12 five gallons. As a matter of fact, I know I did. And I remember Christine saying, oh, you know, she didn't plant enough. This isn't just four years growth. I mean, they've cut and hacked at these and put them on the curb. And still they just keep going and going and going unbelievable all right so that is i'm going to try and see if i can assemble the crew to tackle this this wednesday thursday and friday uh because i'm going to be busy until mid-july if i don't get it in now i won't get to it for another month and a half and this carton can't wait so i hope you will uh, keep a good thought and join us and follow along and see what we do and how we do it and maybe it'll give you some inspiration for your own garden at home this has been laura eubanks of design for serenity in pacific beach with your succulent tip of the day bye guys